Hey Libra, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading. Let's see what messages the divine currently has for you in love. Okay. Show me the messages I need to see for Libra. This is going to be for Libra. And for those who have Libra anywhere in their natal chart, check your charts. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Time is, I mean, energy is fluid. So keep in mind the roles may be reversed. You may flip these messages as needed if necessary, but never force it. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys, okay? Time is also fluid. Anytime that you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. So we're going to get right into it for you, Libra. So many messages. Before I get into tarot, I'm going to pull some barely existing oracle messages. Show me the messages for Libra, please. What is going on for the collective of Libra? This deck is so tiny. <laughs> okay. Train wreck. Wow. The train wreck is like the tower. It's a tower card. Okay. So even to start that out, whatever's happening between you and your person is extremely intense. It was considered a disaster. Insomnia, sleepless nights. Someone's up in their head about this. Heavy in their head about whatever it is that took place between you and this person. Overthinking, self-sabotaging. Yeah, again, someone's up in their head heavily thinking about this situation, overthinking it. And I feel like there's a stuck energy here with the waiting game. Okay, someone's feeling stuck. You're feeling like, now what? What's what's next? Head over heart. Okay, there's someone who's detached. Trying to detach from this situation. Trying to be logical and not really trying to deal with their emotions. There's something very deceptive that happened. I feel like your person is depressed. I feel a deep, deep depression coming from someone. And I feel like that's your person. Although deceptive, I feel like this person is like completely unhappy. Like hurt people, hurt people is what I'm hearing. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, I hear disloyal and unfaithful. Right? So that train wreck, whatever happened, the deception... It involved disloyalty. So wow. Now we're gonna we're gonna dig, dive deeper into the messages via tarot. Show me the messages, please, for Libra. We're gonna figure out who's detaching themselves, who's lying. I said who's lying, and I got the moon. I have the Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, Pisces energy, the Death, um, Scorpio energy, and the Four of Cups reverse. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Wands reverse. Okay. Your person definitely. There was deception here with the Moon. Okay. In fact, there were things that came out with this train wreck, but at the same time, there were things you're still not aware of. This person gave you an illusion of a relationship, okay? I can tell you right now, and I'm just now starting this reading, that I'm getting energy of a narcissist. And I feel like you're trying to move forward with this death card that's being crowned by this queen of pentacles. You're just trying to manifest better for yourself, okay? With the four cups reversed, I'm getting someone who's trying to let go of regret. This has drained you. 
and you're just trying to leave it alone, trying to leave it in the past. This person is refusing to compromise, though, anyway. This person is ridiculously defensive. I feel like when this train wreck happened, this person tried to project it onto you to make it look like you were the problem, gaslighting you. And the crazy thing with this person is like with this waiting game, this person is playing this game with you where they expect you to come to them. They're waiting for you to make a move. They treat you like shit. They, de they deceive you. <laughs> Cheat. And then they have the audacity to like expect you to come back to them. Meanwhile, you're trying to detach from this. It's you that's choosing your head over heart. You're like, I'm trying to get out of my emotions. And you are with the Four of Cups reverse. Okay. Show me more for this situation, please. I have the lovers here. Spirit saying you're being put to a test. There may be a new partnership here. Okay, oh, look at this. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's a victory here. In your Queen of Pentacles energy, you're manifesting better for yourself. Okay? Now, I also get the energy, though, even though this person betrayed you, this toxic connection that you feel so pulled and drawn to, it's not easy to leave. It's like I'm getting devil energy. And I feel like you're still trying to, even though you're moving on now and you're trying to, you know, choose head over heart, you're also still looking back. You're being tested because, like, you're still very much attracted to this person. But there's there's going to there's a there's love there's another option here that you don't even see I, and that landed right on the moon. There's something that you don't see. Give me one moment, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, I had to take that call. So anyway, um, yeah, there's something that you don't see here. And it's involving another option in love, okay? Okay? And I still feel deeply with this with this moon card that there's definitely something deceptive in the background that hasn't come to the surface yet. I'm actually going to pull on that and see what that is. I'm going to pull on that right now. Show me why this moon is here for Libra. It's showing me that there's someone coming in with a love offer, okay? With an apology. So you have this, that's why this lovers is here. One second. Yeah, so the energy that I'm getting is that there's a love offer here and this person is gonna try to come back with an apology with this page of cups. This person is gonna, but the reason why this raises a flag is because it's with the moon. So this person is coming in with an apology that deceived you, this narcissistic person, but you can't trust it. And that's why the moon is here. Okay? That's what you, what you don't see is that this person is being deceptive. All right? So there is another love offer. You do have a decision that you're going to be, be making when this person comes back and tries to come back and apologize. There's someone else here for you, though. Okay? So... As you let go, you're manifesting a new love. All right? So, show me more. Yeah, there's someone here. There's someone coming in that wants to, that values you. Okay? This is someone that's going to show that they value you. This is someone that's going to reciprocate. I feel like this person is going to be very kind, very generous, very financially stable, and, you know, emotionally stable. Okay. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the deck, you have the judgment reverse. There's this person from the past that's not willing to learn the lesson. They want to come back and apologize and show you who they are again. So this person just wants access to you so that they can do what they've always done. Okay. But at the same time, they are waiting right now. They're waiting for you to make a move. And that's why you haven't heard from this person. But it's like, they, they just keep in mind, this person will intend to come back with a little apology. And you have to, you have a decision to make. This is Gemini energy, okay? 
Show me this ex's feelings. What is this? And, 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 what's this ex's feelings? Spirit is like, I don't give a damn. The world just shot out. <laughs> this is Capricorn energy. Spirit is like, close out this cycle. It doesn't matter what they want to say because you have happiness to look forward to with the Four of Wands. Okay? You're going to be celebrating something beautiful soon. You're going to be out. You're going to be... You, you may be at an event when you even meet this new person. But they're going to be there with open arms. Like, this is going to feel so natural and so emotionally safe. And Spirit keeps trying to show me that. Because I have, I have Spirit what this person's feelings and intentions are. And it's just like, Spirit is like, you already know. You already know. This person doesn't like feeling shame. Narcissists do not like feeling shame. Okay? So once they start to feel that way... They need to come back in because you're going to make them feel better. They know that about you. You're the queen of cups. You're nurturing. And they feel like, you know, the, you know, Libra always takes me back and always makes me feel better about myself. So show me, um, please show me Libra's challenges in regards to this person that you are letting go of. You are trying to let go of this person and you're detached, but at the same time, you're here at this reading, so you're looking back. Show me one more for Libra's challenges. Okay. Yeah. Your challenge is, is to let go. I got the King of Wands reverse and the Four of Pentacles reverse. Your challenge is to realize this person is a player. You cannot trust this person and to let them go. That is it. That is your challenge, to stay within that energy. All right? Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay? You are work, you're going towards a commitment, okay? Your, your challenge is to continue moving forward and to, and to be committed to moving forward because there's a commitment that's going to come with that. But you are going to be put to a test when this person comes back around with their apology and their deceptiveness. So Spirit is like, don't trust that. So show me advice, please. Wow. Knight of Swords reverse came out. Show me advice. Your cards are just flying out of here. <laughs> what advice do we have for Libra? Wow. The cards do not lie. The cards do not lie. Okay? The advice that I have for you is the Knight of Swords reverse, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. Spirit is like, this is someone that's going to continue to continue to hurt you continue to ghost you, continue to try to come back. This is this vicious cycle of someone who you can't trust, okay? And then this person has the audacity when you accuse them of shit. And when you catch them out there, they try to project it onto you. They gaslight you. They try to go off on you. They try to put you down. This is rock bottom. It's time for you to, you know, these ties have been severed. There is no retying them back together. You know, it's time for you to say your goodbyes. Put your nail in the coffin with this person. You're at the bottom. This is a, this is a defeating situation. Not going to get any better. Okay? Eight of Cups. Spirit is like, move forward. Because you have to let go. Because this person is going to continue to keep coming back and abandon you again. It's going to be the same cycle of this person coming in, betraying you, abandoning you, and wanting to come back again. Same shit. Meanwhile, you have Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. A solid commitment, a partnership, mutual respect, love. What are you waiting for? There's no need for you to even wait. You have love coming in solid. Okay? So those are the messages that I have for you, Libra, for this reading. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. I wish you this new healing love. I wish you light, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.